A question that I often get asked is when do you throw a silent square bill versus one with rattles? My personal choice is I always start out with one with rattles first, but in certain conditions, you cannot beat a silent square bill. For example, super clear water, highly pressured lakes, or if you're fishing in an area that other anglers have already gone through, the silent bait can be deadly. Now, I want to show you a bait hack that will change the way you look at crankbaits forever. Bass can become conditioned to rattle sounds and vibrations. Here's an example. Let's say you go to a farm pond, you grab a rattle bait, you run around the pond, you catch fish all over the place. You go back three days later with the same bait, go around the pond, and you can only catch a handful. You go back three days after that and you can't even catch a fish. That's because that bass became conditioned to the sound of the rattles. Here's how we can fix this. I have in front of me the Booyah XCS 100 kit. The XCS 100 is the perfect silent square bill. It's kind of like in body size, like the 1.5. Very popular bait to paint, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how to add a custom sound to your bait so you have something that nobody else has fishing around you. First thing I do is I have a Dremel tool with a round drill bit head. Now, here's the important part. Positioning of my drill hole is gonna be dead center on the bait in front of where you see the connection in the lure. So it's really easy. So I'm gonna turn the Dremel on, not super fast, because I don't wanna melt the plastic. And then I'm gonna go right center in, that, in the head of this thing and just drill it through till it pokes through, like so. So now I have the hole perfectly dead centered in the, in the top of the bait. So what I have in front of me is I have different, different BBs. I have brass ones, I have steel ones, tin ones. It's really simple. I just grab the BB, put it in the top of the hole in the head I just drilled, and pop it in there. Now I have this thing really snug so I have to push the BB in, which is actually kind of what I want, but you can, you can do whatever you need to do. Okay, I've just created a bait with a nice steely sound to it. So what I did was I have one with lead, one with brass, and then of course the steel. So here, let's, let me show you the sound differences. Just so you see that you can customize these things. Here's the lead. Nice deep sound. Here's the steel. High frequency. And then here's the brass. Single, single BB, higher pitch than the lead. Deep lead, high brass. And so I just made three different sounding Booyah XCS 100s. Now, the chances that somebody you have that's fishing around you that has anything that sounds like this is slim and none. So now the next step, we have to close the hole up. Here's a real easy way. I take old paintbrushes, model paintbrushes with the little plastic handles. You have those laying around, so I'm gonna mix my two-part epoxy and I fit it into the hole. I see how far down in the hole it goes. I don't want it going all the way through the bait. I just want it going just below the plastic line. So now that, now that I have that marked, okay, now I'm just gonna take the two-part epoxy right on the edge of this thing, like that, put it in the hole, swish it around a minute, and then I'm gonna snip it off, sand it down, and it's ready to paint. And it's gonna be totally waterproof. Okay, so now we, we drilled all these baits, we added all the different sound to them, and it can get really confusing, but it doesn't have to be. So here's what I do. After you finish painting the bait, it's really simple. I label it right underneath the chin. I put an L for lead, B for brass, T for tin, TG for tungsten, and I'll put a little number, you know, one, two, three, or four, depending on how many BBs I add after it. So this one says T3, meaning I have three tin BBs in it. So what you do, paint the bait, label the chin, then clear coat it. And you'll never be confused on which crankbait you're throwing. Go to LureNet.com, get your Booyah XCS lure blanks, and start customizing your own baits.